Hello, and welcome to Voltage Level Shifting Tutorial. My name is Neil from the Fortronics blog, and in this tutorial, I'm going to cover what if you wanted to convert 5 volt digital logic or a digital signal to 3.3 volt digital logic or a digital signal, uh, or vice versa. Uh, and this is a common need in, in electronics if you're com communicating from a microcontroller to a sensor or to a Zigbee module like the XB, or if you're using a Bluetooth module that has 3.3 volts and you're trying to communicate with an Arduino Uno. We need to convert those voltage levels, especially when going from 5 volts to 3.3 volts because we don't want to damage uh, the 3.3 volt device. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about three different methods you can use to do voltage level shifting or voltage translation. One way to do level shifting is to use a chip or an IC. Uh, a lot of different IC makers uh, offer level shifting chips. Texas Instruments is one. Uh, Maxim Integrated is another. One popular model from TI or Texas Instruments is the 74LVC245. It's widely used and it also has a breadboard compatible uh, package size, really low cost. To be clear though that these are these are made for digital signals they're not for analog signals these are nice too because they can handle a wide range of power supply voltages if you do want to go the ic route uh, always look at the data sheet make sure it's going to work with the serial format or digital protocol you're using make sure it's rated for the speed of the digital signal you're using and also be mindful of the package type or form factor you're getting the chip in Another way to do level shifting is with a voltage divider, simply two resistors. To me, this is the easiest way to do it. Of course, though, with this method, this only works if you're trying to convert 5 volts to 3.3 volts or some higher voltage to a lower voltage. Obviously, it's not going to work converting a low voltage to a high voltage. One common way to do it when you're working with 5 volts and trying to convert to 3.3 volts is to use two resistors. One's going to be twice as large as the other. You tie the large one to ground and you put the small one in series on the 5 volt logic input side. Then all you have to do is multiply the input voltage logic level by two thirds. And if that's 5 volts, you're going to get 3.3333333, which is essentially 3.3 volts output. So easy way to convert 5 volts to 3.3 volts. You need to be conscious of the resistor values you use. You don't want to use too low of a value or you're going to get too much current flow and you're going to ruin the pins. You also don't want to use too high of a resistance value for either of the resistors. And the reason is, is keep in mind the logic, the digital logic output pin or the digital logic input pin, they have some type of finite resistance value, input resistance or output resistance. You want to choose resistors in the voltage divider that are much lower than these output and input resistance values so they don't interfere with them. So a good safe range to work in is 5 kilo ohms to 25 kilo ohms. If you choose your values within those, you'll be fine. Oh, and here's an example of using the voltage divider. So I had an Arduino Uno and I sent a serial signal to my Arduino Duo, which is a 3.3 volt logic uh, Arduino. So the input to my voltage divider network, and I used the one you just saw on the previous slide, was 5 volts from the Uno and the resulting signal, the same signal, shows up as 3.3 volts on the output or the input into the Arduino Uno. Our third level shifting method is to use an MPN transistor. So here we're going to use the transistor as a switch. We're not going to use it as an amplifying device. We're just either going to turn it on or off. I have 3.3 volts, a constant 3.3 volts tied to the base. And then I have a 5 volts tied to the collector, but with a 10 kilo ohm resistor in series. Let me go over how this works. If I have a digital signal high or 3.3 volts coming in on the input, that means I'll have a zero voltage difference or zero voltage drop between the emitter and the base. That means my transistor will be off. That means I'll feel 5 volts on the output because the transistor is acting as an open. If I have a logic low on the input, uh, that means I'll have a 3.3 volt voltage difference between the base and the emitter, which will turn my transistor on 
and I'll essentially feel that low on the output because the 10K resistor will drop that 5 volts. And what happens is if we go from high to low, the transistor is just going to turn off and on uh, to convert or shift the logic level. I'll show an example of this like I did for the voltage divider. I'm going to use the 2N3904 MPN transistor. This is a very popular, widely used uh, transistor model. Uh, you can get it anywhere online. You can also probably get it at your local Radio Shack. So this is the same setup as last time, except my Duo is transmitting the serial signal and the Arduino Uno is receiving. So if we think of the circuit you saw on the previous slide, the 3.3 volt, volt logic from the Duo is the input and the 5 volt logic to the Uno is the output. Uh, and you can see once again, I got my right, my correct voltage levels. Uh, I did circle in red a little tiny glitch. Now that's not going to have any effect on the UNO's ability to read the signal, but all, all I did was circle that to show you that the translation or shifting process is, is often non-ideal, even when you're using a voltage divider. And the reason is, especially if you're using a breadboard, what happens is you have non-ideal conditions in the breadboard, you have capacitance in your breadboard, you also have components that aren't exactly perfect. What that means is you don't get a exact replication of the signal. So something to keep in mind. And, and the whole idea here is as the signal gets faster, the more you'll see non-ideal conditions on the output. This is the show, the, uh, the previous circuit, the transistor level shifter in action. So uh, this is my serial monitor from the Arduino Uno. The Arduino Duno, Duo is sending over a serial signal that basically says Forstronics with an N-line character, and the Uno is reading it correctly. Please note that the baud rate, I'm actually using a pretty fast baud rate. I'm using uh, 115,200 baud rate. Okay, so that's going to do it for the level shifting tutorial. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can get the uh, example Arduino code that I use for the Duo and the Uno uh, on my blog. I also post the tutorial schematics of the, of the circuits. I do also, besides tutorials, I also do projects. You can find my tutorials and projects on the Forstronics blog. Just search Forstronics or my YouTube page, excuse me, my YouTube channel, and just search Forstronics uh, in YouTube. Thank you for watching.